going on guys it is fatal reaper today bringing you guys a video my yearly video that i typically do for the hp pavilion and we're back here in 2023 shout out to everyone hope you had a great new year let's kick this uh you know new year off good we are back here with the hp pavilion and i'm just going to be talking to you guys is it worth it still after all these years in 2023 so and i say all these years i've really had the laptop for a little bit over two years now going on three years this year and it's it's, it's been it's been a gr amazing laptop like i've had no complaints with it with it whatsoever i'm gonna be talking about i'm gonna do a lot of talking in this video i'm gonna be showing you some videos of gameplay that i've done for two games spider-man remastered or marvel spider-man remastered on the pc um and then we've got warzone 2 that i do have a video here at the end and you can check out those full videos on my youtube channel we're going to be talking about the hp pavilion specifically and like um any you know pros and cons to it, to it especially as long as it's uh, been out and uh as of now so if you do get the hp pavilion just a side note do make sure you get 16 gigs of ram my build does have 16 gigs do make sure you upgrade that that's going to be a just a must especially this day and age i have actually 32 gigs of ram in my main pc build you're just going to want the 16 gigs of ram it helps exponentially and it's just a one of the best upgrades you can do um also i do recommend getting an external hard drive to save some games on because it is a lot um or an external ssd probably and there are links down in the description below of my videos if you guys want to see some of those um you can check uh, check those out. I've got the stick of RAM also in the description of the videos. That's the one that I personally bought and used. Um, that being said, you know, like I said, the the laptop has been just amazing. I've had no issues. I've took it took it on many vacations on the go. Um, you know, you can sit there and play your, your Minecraft. Your, you can play VR. I did a test on that just shortly. I know you guys have asked that a few times, and I finally got another VR headset. You can play VR on it. Um, wirelessly too so you can connect to the uh, VR headset wirelessly as well and it still holds up today playing your new games I mean Warzone 2 just came out with Modern Warfare 2 and I've done Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer as well as Warzone 2 and you're still holding up with a good 60 FPS solid with decent uh, uh, decent uh, graphic settings and it's still playing it so I mean this laptop is still holding up even with this day and age with all the new uh, you know, you, everything new coming out, of course, this year, last year, all that, and everything like that, and all the new hardware that comes out every year, obviously. So that being said, guys, I mean, you know, the, the, the gaming laptop, the HP Pavilion here, is still, still holds up. So if you're still looking to get one, if you're looking not to, you know, break the bank and spend a, a crap ton of money on a brand new PC or a custom build one, which I do recommend getting a custom build one if you want excellent perfect gameplay and performance but like i mean look at spider-man here we got spider-man here i believe i have medium uh, to low settings on this and we're getting you know 50 to 60 fps and it plays flawlessly i had no issues playing it so i mean if you're if you're still wanting uh just to get your kind of foot in the door and play a gaming uh you know have a gaming pc so to speak or gaming laptop the hp pavilion 100 percent would be a really good start with you there Especially if you don't have the money to build a game PC or anything like that. So this is hands down to me probably one of the best gaming laptops out there. Obviously there are other gaming laptops that you could go for. I just from my personal experience and having this laptop for three years, it's been one of the best. Um, uh, I have seen other ones. There's the Acer Nitro and some other ones. Of course there there are plenty more deals that you could get and plenty more gaming laptops that you could go with that uh, would be possible. Uh, just as good, if not possibly better in some situations. But, um, and again, this is the Intel uh, version too, by the way. HP probably makes a Ryzen and an Intel. Um, there's some differences to there. Ryzen is typically better for streaming purposes. And, of course, Intel's better for, for your performance, kind of so to speak. But, all in all, I would typically go for Intel if you were going to go for one. Uh, but I've been told that either one is just as good as the other as far as gameplay and performance goes. That being said, guys, though, like I said, the, the, the HP Pavilion, there's not really there's not really much cons to it. Um, I've not really had that many issues. I would say that it is kind of some somewhat annoying sometimes that you do have to keep the laptop typically on the charger if you are playing uh, playing most games to get the higher FPS and stuff like that. You do have to keep it on the charger to have that higher battery performance. Um, if you do take it off the charger, you're going to be capped at about 60 FPS. It's what it does to save battery battery life basically um for performance and all that 
Um, so if you want higher performance, you have to keep it on the charger. Now, that being said, I don't know whether or not you can actually disable that. I've looked and looked many times. From what I can tell, you can't, or I personally have not been able to find that you can. Um, so that was that's really one of the cons to it. But other than that, I mean... You would have to keep a, a gaming PC obviously plugged up to the wall and everything like that. So if you're going to have that, it's not it's not that big of a deal. Because, I mean, in most cases, you're going to be able to sit the laptop down on a desk, you know, and plug up the charger. And it does not hurt it at all in longevity of keeping it on the charger. Some people have asked, oh, is it going to hurt it? I've kept the uh, laptop on the charger for three years straight. It's never affected the battery life. And it's never affected as far as me playing games. And I do play pretty regularly on the HP Pavilion. I don't play as much as some people, obviously, because it's not my main PC. Um, but it, it, I do use it pretty, uh, pretty often. Again, though, guys, that being said, the HP Pavilion is hands down still 100% worth it in 2023. So if you're looking for a gaming laptop or to get your foot in the door in gaming, the HP Pavilion is still a good, uh, still a great deal. And the, the best part is you could get some of them possibly used on eBay. You can go on Amazon. I think they're selling for about seven to 800. Um, and you might could get some better deals, especially around the holidays. Or anything like that and especially as this year goes on i'm sure uh, multiple places will have price drop i actually personally got this laptop for about 500 dollars even it was at uh walmart actually and they had a good uh rollback sale on it and i got it for 500 dollars even so that being said guys i mean you, you you could walk away with a really good solid gaming gaming hardware or gaming laptop for a really good price that be, and again, there's all, all, all kinds of things that you can trick it out with. Obviously, getting extra RAM, uh, extra hard drives. You can get external monitor, like I've done videos on that. So if you guys want to know any of that kind of stuff, check out my uh, uh, channel. Be sure to like and subscribe as always. Um, I got plenty of videos coming, new games. New games come out, you know, obviously every day, every year. And I'll be doing all kinds of the newer games. I'll do the settings test, stuff like that, like I've done with Warzone here, Spider-Man and all that. That being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see the full-length videos of these and me talking about them, um, uh, do check out my channel. And I do have the full-length videos of Warzone, Spider-Man, and as well as other games as well. That being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And is the HP Pavilion worth it in 2023? 100% a yes. So if you're looking to get it, it is 100% worth it. That being said, guys, again, be sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, as always.